it's me, Mel LG. I hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic day today. Happy whenever you're watching this. I actually have no idea even when this video is going up. I'm kind of a mess. I think it's a Tuesday. I think it's a Tuesday. Happy Tuesday if you're watching it on the first day it was released. We are back again with a little bit of Rogue Tower. I hope you guys are as excited to be here as I am. I am recording this. The weather has been so nice. It has kind of taken a downturn as of most recently. We are still playing with the Meow Meow in the room. Please bear with me. He will scream at some point. It is what it is and we're doing. I did just try to smile and my lip cracked. Oh, oh, that might be the worst feeling in the world. Guys, send help. I think I need an ambulance. Help, I've fallen and I can't get up. I cannot get my life straightened out. I also feel like sometimes this happens to me with hangovers, but I'm not even like hungover. Though I did have a couple beers yesterday. I feel like my voice gets very like gruff. Like I just casually become like Jack Nicholson. I don't know why. Why am I like this? Somebody help me. My vocal spectrum is Fran Drescher to Jack. I chose single defense. I should have done double. Um, let's go for some monuments then. Because it's the only one off the top of my head I know we haven't beaten with. Oh, I did remember to take my Invisalign out. Look at me. We are not the ASMR queen today. No clickety clacks up in here. I did see something where I was like, oh, you know what? I'm kind of dumb for not thinking about that. I'm not like overly... Hmm. I feel like this could be good, but I also really like doing the... Hey, Tris, you trying to smell my coffee, buddy? You trying to smell my coffee? This shit would kill you. Um, I've, I've been really into doing the mines, haunted house. Maybe we do this because we still have not hit health of our tower of 50. There was one time I was at like 49. But that ain't 50. Mel, I don't know how to count, but that ain't it. Hmm. So I saw a TikTok the other day. And the TikTok was along the lines of like, when you guys are just sitting... And you're not like having a conversation and your mouth is closed. You're not talking. You're just sitting and existing, not watching anything. What do you think about? And I was like, bruh, I got the easiest answer for you. Number one, I'm not going to say nothing because I do think of something. I might be broken. Give me a right hand turn. Thank you. I always think of, I want you on progress so you can be on most health. I always think of like, Songs. I think I like constantly have songs stuck in my head. I don't know if that's normal. It probably is not. I might be on the spectrum. That is fine. If I am, I am. It's not changing my life because like realistically, what am I gonna do? Be like, oh man, I got diagnosed with like, you know, a learning disability in addition to the one I already have. Um, no, like it doesn't matter. I'm gonna just commit and go all the way. No, no. I think we have one with cannons. Oh, uh, good God. Okay, give me a clearly a left. But I always think of songs. And I know it's like realistic because I think of songs constantly. I wake up every morning and I'll have a song stuck in my head. And there's this really weird thing that my husband laughs at where it is disproportionately often a Green Day song off of their first album, Dookie. Like, I was born in 96, so I've got, like, you show me The Offspring, you show me, like, Blink-182, Green Day, My Chemical Rants. I lived through it. I did that. It may surprise you because I dress like an uppity white girl now. And don't get me wrong, I listen to, like, Lana Del Rey and not really Taylor Swift. Don't come for me. We've talked about this before. Can I please just have the one I'm looking for? I guess I'll go for this. Um, right hand turn. Oh! We've been blessed by the Rogue Tower goddesses today, baby. Um, I always have songs. Like, literally, I'll wake up and I'll be like, Do you have the time to listen to me? Why? And my husband's like, Shut up. I haven't even got the cats yet. I haven't started the coffee. And I'm like, Yeah, you don't have the time to listen to me. Why? Um, but today, sometimes it's not like real songs. Today, it was like, don't ask me how I did it, I just did it, it was hard. And I swear to God, it's because I watched one single TikTok yesterday that was, have we won with obelisks? 
we do have mana, but we have mana siphons. And somebody was like, why don't you ever take them? They're cheap. And I was like, I know, but I just really like the mana bank build for some reason. We all have our own biases and that's a not great one that I have. Um, yeah, I'm like, man, like it's always like random stuff like that. But I had that song in my head literally because I watched one singular TikTok. What? One TikTok. That was somebody being like, I built, beat the spell cavern in Stardew. And I was like, oh. If you know me, I don't do well with stress. I used to think I had really good stress management. Now I know that that was an absolute lie. The lie detector test determined that that was a lie. I do not have good stress management. And that is okay. But, my good god. My good god. I cannot play stressful games. So, Stardew, which is not a stressful game for me, or shouldn't be. Oh, shoot. I should probably just take this. Um, Honey. Skull Cavern, too stressful. Give me a right or left hand turn. Or a right hand turn. Give me a right hand turn. Thank you. Wow, we actually have been blessed today. I have a little bit of a list because my Invisalign have come out. Don't judge me. Give me that Candy Muse vibes. I love people that have like something unique about themselves that just embrace it. Because obviously it's something you've probably gotten bullied by, by every child in the world. My husband always talks about this because I, for a long time, thought I wanted to be a teacher. And I always like waver with that idea of like, do I go back to Ed? Do I become a teacher? When I do little kids or big kids. I was a student teacher in a little kid class and it convinced me. I was like, I love little kids. It's so fun. I don't mind like cleaning a vomit or, you know, helping them blow their nose or something. That's never been an issue for me. Pretty gross, but never been an issue. But I also feel like I get like really bored with the curriculum. And like, part of me is like, I love reality TV. So working with like, not bullying issues, but working with like teenagers who are like coming to you and like crying because they're 14 and their first boyfriend dumped them and it's really sad. Or they were like talking to a different girl or something and it was a whole absolute mind blowing fiasco or something. I'm kind of here for that because <laughs> I'm kind of like part of me is like, oh, it'd be like really trash reality TV show every day. But then I'm like, no, in reality, it's probably not fun at all. And you're probably like, this is awful and I hate this. And also you are dealing with bullying issues, which is how I got on this in the first place is like, I wish people didn't bully. I will always stand by the fact that like, when I was in neuroscience, when I did my bachelor's degree, I learned that, you know what, yeah. That um, people and humans like to conform. And I've talked about this many times, probably even on Road Tower videos many times. People like to conform. And so if you have a child who is socially awkward, not performing, whatever, I don't care. Then putting them in an environment where they feel like they fit in and the other kids are actually acting like normalized, like they don't pick their nose and stuff like that. The kid will stop doing those more obscure behaviors eventually because they want to conform to the, the masses and they want to fit in. So the whole idea of like bullying people out of bad traits, I don't agree with. Oh buddy, you almost spilled my coffee, honey. Okay, nobody believes me, this cat is clumsy. He falls off of everything all the time. Everywhere, every, everything, everywhere, all at once. That's you, falling, everywhere, all at once. Took my hair with him. Oh, I know, now you're embarrassed because you fell right on live TV. Not mad TV, live TV. Um, also, also, this is kind of fun. Wait, this is a very millennial episode. To my Zoomer audience, I am sorry. We, uh, we had like a couple friends over and um, it was like my buddy and like his new lady friend, newer, like they've been together for a while now. And so I had made a joke. I don't even remember what it was, but I was like, the back of your head is ridiculous, ridiculous. And she like knew the whole Mad TV skit. My sweet little croissant. Um, I make that reference, it lives rent free in the back of my head. Just like every song on Green Day's Dookie, I'm telling you, dude. Also, do you guys like- I was like thinking of this. Okay, this is also, here comes more millennial humor. I grew up with Smosh, because like, I was born in 1996, dude. I grew up with Smosh. And Smosh still does stuff. And part of me kind of likes some of the new Smosh, because the main guy's name is Shane, but it's spelled S-H-A-Y-N-E. And my husband's name is Shane, spelled the same way. And the only other Shane we've ever really seen on like media is um, Shane on Love is Blind and he is kind of terrible. And so 
we don't like him. But my, um, my husband and I were kind of watching like some newer Smosh videos and stuff this weekend. And I'm really into right now the ones that are like, uh, um, oh my God, I'm dying. I'm actually like, my brain has stopped functioning. The ones that are like, we, you know, took everybody in the office and asked what their favorite video games were and tried to figure out who it was. We took everybody in the office and asked what their favorite movies were. Took everybody in the office and took what their favorite songs were. Because even just like hearing what other people's like favorite video games and stuff is, you don't need to know the people to find that cool, right? Especially music. And my husband and I were sitting there and I was like, man, my music taste would throw them for a loop. I think because like you look at me and the music I mostly listen to now kind of goes hand in hand with my personality. I listen to this artist named Zylo. They're a little bit more underground, but they're like synth pop. I listen to like Lana Del Rey. I'm kind of a moody queen. Makes sense. I don't really listen to Billie Eilish, but it kind of falls in that same category. Um, then I listen to like My Chemical Romance. I don't think that surprises anyone. Again, I was a millennial. That's normal. But if I threw out The Offspring, which is truly one of my top bands, I think people would be a little taken aback. They'd be like, who? Like, who, who is not a 32 year old man and loves the offspring as passionately as I do to put them in their top three? I think that would take people a second because it's not like your typical like emo punk bands like Green Day and stuff where it's like, oh, but they have some more like slower, more feminized songs, things like that, right? It's, um, it's a little bit more underground. I also feel like, I don't know if they'd make the top for me, but some 41 would be up there for me. I think they'd be in like my top 10, probably not my top five, but another one I think that I would put in my top that might actually throw people for a loop is um, Rise Against. I think people would be startled to find out that I really like Rise Against. Because they're definitely a little, especially the early stuff, is a little more punky. And I do not look like somebody. And I don't listen to that kind of music now. I think it's just my angst era kind of coming out. And, you know, you get comfortable with that music. You go back to it, it's nice. I also love Linkin Park. I still do. But I think what catches people off guard, and like, please don't come for me in the comments. If you're like, I am right in this music alley and you're ruining my life. Not only do I like old Linkin Park, I also like new Linkin Park, like the stuff right before Chester passed away, like the kind of like really unique robotic synth, unusual abnormal music. Honey, I'm here for that. I, I like that. I also like the old stuff, but yeah, there's some stuff in there where you're like, what? But then I also listen to country. I think it catches my husband off guard because he is like kind of a metalhead. He likes punk music. He's kind of a little bit more, he likes like harsher stuff. And he likes like things that are like really unique and really creative. So even like classical music and stuff, like he is a musician. So it all kind of makes sense. I'm waiting on putting down a monument. I know we haven't had a fork yet, so that's pretty good. Um, we are almost at Oogie. Ooh, a little house over here. Don't mind if I do. Uh, ha, ha, ha. I also listen to Disney music. Not really. I feel like I'm not, I am for sure not a Disney adult, but I do not religiously listen to Disney music, but you put a song on from like the original Hercules movie, I'm here for it. If you put a song on, honestly, like my favorite Disney movies are mostly like Pixar movies. A Bug's Life is up there. Cause I was like the, not like, you know, I was like the boy-ish daughter. My parents only had two daughters. And I was the one that played sports and I was into dinosaurs and you know, that kind of stuff. So my parents didn't raise me as a son, but they raised me more like they were okay with me being like more into like masculine things. Um, which is fine. You can be into whatever you want and I wish people would like let their kids. Cause like as much as I was into that stuff and I still am, I love rocks, I love like geology. It is just different. I still also love fashion. I like video games, but I also love, you know, I don't know, what's a feminine thing? I did dance. I played rugby, I did dance. Like, come on, I did all these cool things because my parents weren't as, it's really funny because they kind of are, but they weren't so pressured on, um, not necessarily happy with any of these, pressured on like gender norms. But it's fine. Again, just be into what you want to be into. 
look guys, nobody's commented on it because this video obviously is being recorded and is not live. But I just placed all, uh, oh, itty buddy, just chill, just chill buddy, just chill. Um, I just use shift to place all of my houses or my ballista around that house. I cannot speak because it's first thing in the morning and I don't have my Invisalign in and my tongue feels weird. And now I have a list. Bro, you don't want my coffee. I'm gonna tell you right now, you don't want my coffee. This situation is like putting in work, which is really nice. And we'll be fine, but I am a little worried about uh, I hope it comes back this way. We can put like a monument up here. I am a little bit worried about shields. I know we had a couple ups of shield damage in our. So we don't have. Oh, we do have an iron thing up here. Um. Yeah, we have a couple of ballista shield upgrades, but we don't have a ton of shield upgrades. It's not great. I also thought I took mana siphons, but I guess I have not. That's okay, though. My eyes are tired today. I feel like I just haven't been sleeping well. Again, yeah, stress management is not my specialty. I've never been stressed. Like, what is going on? I guess I'm kind of stressed about the cats, because, like, as you can see, Idris is still in the room. We're trying to integrate them. It's a slow process. We're doing the best we can. It is a little stressful. Guys. This is fine, because if we get rain shots, they'll hit over here as well. Guys. Thank you. Holy. The worst spot for that to go. Um, I want haunted houses. Let's go for this. Ooh, a twofer? I'll go for some, hmm, we don't have bleed yet. Somebody in my comments, I think it's so run specific and I think we all have like our unique way of playing. But somebody was like, go for bleed every single time, it doesn't matter. And I was like, okay, I will do my best. So there's a fork. This is kind of nice because hopefully this can go all the way up. We'll see. Let's see how it goes up. Dude, I'm actually such a tired guy today. I'm just a dude. I'm just a kid and the is a nightmare. No, I'm just a dude. Um, no, I'm so tired. Again, I just haven't been sleeping well. What is going on with me? It's fine. That was a weird meow. I will admit that one. I feel so bad, and I feel like I've apologized this to the, about this a hundred times, but it might be in other videos or other segments and stuff. I am so sorry. I feel like the meows come through the mic so much more than I originally realized, and he is so loud. Like, you think it's, like, loud for you guys? Like, cool. If you're holding him and he meows, it actually hurts. Like he's so, so loud. And I feel so bad because like, he's also really stubborn. I don't want to yell at him too much because like, it's not his fault. He's stressed out, you know, we're just, we're just trying to like do the best we can with him. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go for this. I do think that was an okay play no matter what. Give me a straight line, thank you. Any other plus threes up here? Nah. Shit. 
Okay, I was like, did I forget to actually, like, make that most of all? <laughs> Get these guys some exercise in. Near death, please. Good. This run is okay. I'd love to see some more motion together, send in bond energy over there. That's a weird thought. Can you imagine going to like a concert and being like... Now my shoulders hurt. I was like so stiff on that. I was like clenching every muscle in my body. Uh, longbow is really good for us, actually. Give me a straight line. Well, you're not wrong, but you're not right either. I think I'd rather have it. I shouldn't have thought on that for so long, but. Another range up would be nice for that one hitting over here. Don't ask me how I did it, I just did it, it was hard. That's me. When you guys are like, wow, you beat that run, it was so good. Don't ask me how I did it, I just did it, it was hard. Especially when you get trash card drops. I feel like, like this is like, um, blame the edit kind of energy, but like in reality, I feel like as of late, I have been kind of just getting bad card draws and bad layouts, but it's kind of also the fun of the game, right? If you win every round, you're gonna like lose motivation. Oh, my eye just got like blurry for a sec there. I'm dying. Eyelash probably just like yoded itself right into my eyeball, right through the big hole into the back of the retina. Now have major retinal damage. No, your eye doesn't work like that. Um... Somebody said lifesteal with the monuments is really good, but I feel like because we have enough regeneration, because we have the plus 3%, the double sorcery, we should be okay. Don't necessarily care about this, but it could be good because then I could have a couple of these prioritizing. Ooh, we'd have to go for a lot, but prioritizing armor. And based on everything else here, I do like the crit chance, but like, you know, we got to kind of experiment and go out of our comfort zone a little bit. Oh, fudge. Also... Why have I not been placing these little fiends down? I guess there aren't that many good spots for them, but... We're going to town. This little piggy went to market. This little piggy stayed home. That was the energy we were getting right there. We're going to town. There's so many, like, slang terms. It's just a euphemism. Euphemisms. Oh, Canadianisms? No. Uh, there's so many slang terms that I use that I'm like, man, those are so outdated that you could definitely pinpoint me as like, even if I try to pass as a Zoomer, I have a little bit of Zoomer energy. I feel like I've talked about this. Like, part of the reason I got into streaming is because I appreciate content creators who um, create things so that I can, yeah, let's go for it. So that I can like, um, sleep to, things like that. Like people who are constantly outputting pretty much like nothing this content that isn't super exciting and isn't super loud because it can be hard sometimes to find something that's so consistent in so many videos that if you're trying to fall asleep to it. But at the same time, I'm like, I also should maintain more high energy. That probably woke every human being up if they actually do what I just said. Um, right hand turn. No. But, yeah, like, I I want to have my more energy. I see, like, you know, I just see, like, um, clips on TikTok and stuff of other streamers and content creators. And I'm like, man, those people are so fun and they're so, like, high energy. And I'm like, I wish I could manifest that. And I'm, you know, sometimes I'm like, days are better than other days. But, and also different content. Some content is better than other content. I am really struggling with shield, as I expected. Probably from the guys who come over here. But 
yeah, I'm like, I want to like, I want to be like more high energy and I want to, we could do poison, additional poison. I'm going to go for bleed because we already have this one. Yeah, that seems good. That seems good. Okay, we're going to have to start doing some stagger work as well because we are struggling. But, but, um, I digress. No, I, uh, he really shredded that poor dude. Mm. Oh, I would, but I don't have mana siphons and I don't have, uh, um, oh my god, I got help. My brain? Um, I don't have mana banks or mana siphons, so I was like, oh, that's not good. But, it's fine. Yeah, I want to be, like, more high energy. It is hard to manifest that, and I am also, like, I've talked about this, I'm kind of an introvert, and that doesn't mean, I think charisma and ability to perform are so separable from the, like, introversion, extroversion, because my husband and I are both introverts, but I like attention, and I'm pretty good at, like, managing a room. I like presenting in front of people. Mm, I do like frost bolts. This is pretty good, too, but I do like frost bolts. Give me a right-hand turn. Okay, and then we'll start staggering after that. But I'm also like, yeah, I'm more introverted. So even though I'm good at like talking to people and like a little bit more charismatic, even though I have social anxiety, I'm kind of a mess. But we already knew that. Um, it's all fine. And you just work with it. And then my husband, who is like the most extreme version of introversion I've ever met in my life, this man is so charismatic that people would never guess he's introverted. And I think it's like the... People think extroversion means charisma because people who are extroverted tend to just have more experience socializing and therefore tend to be more naturally charismatic. But they do not go hand in hand. You can also be somebody who is not good at talking to people and be very extroverted. I know people like this. And then you can also be somebody who is like my husband, very charismatic and also really introverted. Could do mana banks now, or mana bolts, but like, eh. Could go for a crit synergy. We don't have any other critting stuff, but. Okay. But like, yeah, I'm like, I don't know. It's all a spectrum. You just work with what you got. And so like, for me, I'm like, yeah, I want to be more high energy. I want to be more entertaining. And it is something I'm actively working towards. Again, like sometimes I watch other streamers or content creators and I'm like, oh, I like that they do that. Or I like that they say that. But it's hard to like ingrain that in your brain so heavily for it to come out naturally, right? Like, I don't want to like be doing something and be like, oh, this is fake. Like at the end of the day, I still want to be like myself. And if myself is singing Green Day to you at like 5.45 in the morning because I had to get up early to record a video, then my dumb butt is singing Green Day to you at 5.45 in the morning. Um, We do have the crit chance. This is really good, but I think it'll come up again. I think I want to go for crit chance. We really gotta stagger this bad boy. But yeah, in general, like I'm like, okay, it's fine, we can be ooh, knocking my wrist dress around. My little cloud wrist dress. You can be who you wanna be and do what you do. I like I feel like I'm somebody who like I just like to always be improving. I don't wanna stagnate. I get bored really easy because I'd be a tension fan of a zoomer. But ugh, I don't know. Like sometimes it's hard without like taking courses and stuff. And I'm not really gonna go take a course on how to be a good streamer. Maybe I should. Maybe you can, somebody wanna fund me? Can I start a GoFundMe for Mel starting? Are GoFundMe's even a thing anymore? They must be. 
Why would they have, like, stopped being a thing? Give me a right hand turn. Oh, freaks. This is gonna be a- this is gonna be a challenge for me. I'm just gonna say it right now. This is gonna be a rough one. All this- all this in one area is gonna be a lot. But... I digress. I don't know where I picked that up. I don't know where I picked that up. But, yeah. I'm also, like, I'm not, like, chronically online. Like, I'm not on, like, 4chan. But I am kind of chronically online when it comes to, like, memes and stuff. Like, my husband is like, you are kind of a meme bar. During the pandemic, my Instagram was, like, 80% memes. And people were like, you should just think of a meme channel. And I was like, wow, you guys actually just, like, don't care about me that much. So you're like, yeah, become a meme channel, lol. Well, maybe I should have. Maybe I could be, like, TikTok famous. I don't care about that. I think I'd rather go for money. Are our targets even burning? No. So I'd rather go for this. Um, go in with the bleed. Yeah, and somebody said bleed is like, I underrate bleed by too much. And I was like, okay, I believe you. I think I want this. I do like the slowing, especially because we do have some, it's not the shortest path because it was like 15 or 16, but it is like, pretty short and honestly like I don't have that much defense down here I have to do this whenever it would have forces. just with Murphy's Law and my luck you know it's true you know it to be true it's good though I see my ballistas leveling up which is always comforting as well because you will target whoever the monument is targeting. And that's not necessarily helpful. Feels good though. I feel like we've got a pretty good run going. This needs to be staggered more because this is getting pretty close, but... Hmm. I don't think I care about this. We do have poison, I'm struggling with poison, or I'm struggling with shield, so let's go there. This is not staggered, but I want to stagger this more before I stagger this. You son of a bitch. I also, like, you can probably see it in just, like, my personality and stuff. I used to, like, not swear when I'd stream because I was like, ah, like, you are, like, you know, you're on the internet and stuff, and, like, I, I don't know. Does swearing actually impact your content that much, right? Like, is it really like improving my content enough that it would like turn I'm okay turning off viewers who maybe don't want to hear it all the time? But then I realized that I'm just a dude. I'm just a dude and like for me, I do hit my coffee! No, fine. Okay, I didn't really help you. I mean like I did, but like I didn't. It was for the meme. It was for the meme! I don't yell at my cat! <laughs> Seance could also be good. I think I'd rather go for this one. <laughs> Give me a right hand turn. Should I just leave? Should I just leave? I 
radio silent there for a second, it's fine. My brain like turned off. Also, 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 super sidebar, but it's like driving me up the wall. Anybody else with just like a ton of ear piercings and then randomly like you'll sleep on them and they'll be like, you've had me for 42 years, but I'm gonna act up and get infected for no reason. Your sweat is ruining my life. And you're like, oh God, I don't know what that voice was. Casual like Martin from The Simpsons. Um, probably not. It's so hard for me to hear what my voice sounds like without like going back and like recording it. And I don't really want to go back and listen to myself making a really bad makeshift Martin from The Simpsons voice. Get your tushy out of my screen, please. Thank you. Um, we're not struggling with mana. I think we're good there. And if we were, we have mana siphons. I need to put more mines down, BT dubs. We'll be some time. I do like this. I think we go for more crit chance because we have the good crit chance. Speaking of which, let me throw down some mines before I forget. Oh my god. I swear I was holding shift. It was just like not working. It was user error. They didn't prepare for the user error of me, of Mel. The user of Mel. Really, we don't have any more. Did I just miss one? We don't have any more things. Okay, this might not be the run where we hit 50. Okay, we gotta keep staggering though. to portal me twice. I was so convinced that this would go here and here that I was like, oh, I'll expand it, it'll be fine. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. It's fine, we'll make it work. We will make it work. Also by putting a money. We got this one. So we have three things like right back to back. So this is gonna be imperative that we really like beef this up. It's pretty rude if you ask me. Okay. I do like this. Ooh, I do also like this. I think this is really good for us because I don't see any hint that we, I haven't been looking, but I don't see the hint that we're gonna get. Um, The DOT resistant dudes. Okay, so this is just gonna have to live as it is for now. Yeah, 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 okay. So let's expand here so that these ends can get staggered soon as well. Give me a right hand turn for the love of God. You don't love me, you don't love religion. I see, I see the pain. Oh, also I was wrong. There is a damage resistance base. I just have to We got many mines. We got one spot. And that was it. I may cry if something else not ideal happens to me, but that's a different story. Great address, my right, buddy. My, okay, this is a very Canadian, not a Canadianism, but a Canadian reference. My husband took me to a Protest the Hero concert in October? A while ago now, holy. Um, he really, he's like, again, kind of a metalhead, but not really. He played in a metal band. I don't know if like anyone, and like not like harsh vocals metal, like hard rock metal forever. Um, which is kind of cool. Again, like a very talented musician. Taught himself how to play piano using like YouTube videos. 
I'm like, man, this guy's got, he is, when I say he is very different than I am, I'm not really happy with any of these. Maybe I'll go for this, because this I don't care about. Go for this, and then I will never have to worry about putting mana siphons up. It does suck because it means my mana siphons are useless. I do want to do some counting. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Okay, you can be one more, and then we're just going to be great. Actually, the Polish. We gotta get some pinging the least health guys, cause like... Yeah. Um, I'm gonna do... You know, I'm gonna wait, and then if we can get a golden card, I might do it. Cause we do have a reasonable amount of trees, and I'm gonna start clapping some trees now. I do see this up here as well. Thank you, Brain. Thank you. The neurons are firing. My axons are myelinated, myelinated and smooth. And things are functioning. The coffee is kicked in. No, it hasn't. Don't let me fool you. I'm still a little brain dead and dumb. But we do what we do, and we pretend it works. Remember, do everything with confidence, and no one will believe you. Believe that you're wrong. I see that which will need to be opened. I hate that they keep dying behind this tree. What am I looking for? This could be okay. More bleed could also be okay, but I think this is what we want to go for. Open the treasure chest. This is useless and it really sucks, unfortunately, but it happens. Honestly, like they sometimes just don't even drop chests. So it's fine. Okay, let's go here. suck if we get a thing now, but as a coffee or a tea fan. Part of me is like, maybe I wanted to be like a hipster. I don't know. Is this even hipster? Or maybe I just wanted to be British. I really wanted to get into tea. And I've tried. But I just like, the only time I used to drink tea is like, when I was in grad school. Rip. Uh, give me a right hand turn. I know these are going to be like the same length, but if I can beef this one up and beef this one up separately, it'll be okay. Because we also have 30, or 45 is the last one. So 45, 44, 43, 42, 41, 40. So we need to get to 40. This is gonna fork, isn't it? Oh, I thought we reached up. pretty okay card drop the whole time. So having like two back to back, like it stings, but at the end of the day, it's the same as if we got it like, you know, four rounds ago and then just got it too. Like it's not any different. Struggling with armor.
We might be struggling with armor because I don't think we have taken any burn, but it's fine. So, bless you guys out there. I don't know how I got so sidetracked from this. Um, especially because it's like giving me a headache. So, anyone else who has like ear piercing gets this, they just like never heal. Like they do, but it takes like 142 years. Okay, we are finally starting to struggle with mana. We are not getting enough war veins. Unfortunate, but fine. Okay, maybe I put too many. I don't think I need this many. Oh, because maybe we're out of Monument Land, so it's fine. Okay, we could get burn damage finally. Anything targeting Astus right now, which is not great, but oopsie. This is not for us. This is the lack of staggering back here, which I should do some work on. Boogie round. Well, he's gonna not make it too far, so we're fine. Mm -hmm. Could go for crits. Or I think this could just be good. It's really just our bliss is getting more damage, but no. Mm, let's go for this. Ooh, a threefer. I don't think I care about this. I think this. We have burn now, right? Yeah, let's go for this. Ooh, a fourfer. Let's go for this. Do I go for fortification because we're close? We're not that close, but I'll just send it. I think we need to prioritize winning the run over just getting fortification done, you know? Really gotta beat back down here now. make it right here. Oh yeah, I forgot that this is here. Let's use it make it right here. The better. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six. 45, 44, 43, 42, 41, 40. Okay. Can't take it. Could be okay. I think this is better than this because we are struggling with this, 
but I do like crit, but I think we go for this. Staggering is like losing its staggering because of the fact that like they're only one space apart. So it's really not that great. But we lost my first represent. But we just gotta roll with it. They really want to give me stuff related to bleed. This is pretty good though. When he's probably health, I'm gonna use. I do see it. I do see it. Don't worry. I see my mana. I've done some trees. I think that's my, not my last tree. I have one tree left. It's the one that the things always hide behind. Okay, this is rough. This is rough. Is it missiles? It's missiles. We also have like three levels of banditry. It's just that up in difficulty that comes at level 38 with the missiles, dude. It's like this hump that is like almost in many cases insurmountable to me. That's okay. Again, if you won every round, it wouldn't be fun. So you went some, you lose some. I'm just happy. Don't ask me how I did it. I just did it. it was, I lost. I didn't even do it. It's fine. Um, thank you guys so, so much for watching this episode of Now LG Plays Rogue Tower. If you guys like me enough, come hang out with me live on Mondays and Thursdays at twitch.tv slash LG underscore. I upload Rogue Tower videos. I. Oof, me. I am the one. I upload Rogue Tower videos on Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. So check those out if you like the content. And check out some of the other series on the channel. It helps us out a great deal if you hit that subscribe and like button. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. Oh, see ya.